Hi everybody, this is Jade Xu at the University of Man. In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct a test of simple effects following a significant, significant interaction effect between two independent variables in a two-way factorial design, two-way ANOVA in other words. And the, the example I'm going to use is the same one we used in which we want to find out whether male and female students have significant different scores in the four academic majors. So gender is one of the independent variable with two values. Major is the other independent variable with four values. And score is the dependent variable. In our initial two-way ANOVA analysis, we found out that there is a significant interaction effect between gender and major on their average scores because P equals 0 0.048 lower than 0 0.05. In this case, we need to do a test of simple effects to find out how the effect of gender vary across different levels of major. The rationale for test of simple effect is to simplify the scenario by keeping one of the independent variables constant and look at the effect of the other independent variable. In our example, we're going to look at the effect major for male student only, then for female student only. Then we look at the effect of gender within each of the four academic majors. When we have male students only, which means gender is no longer a variable, and the hypothesis to test here is the average score of students in the four academic majors are not significantly different. Same thing, we're going to take female students only and compare their average scores across the four majors. Then we're going to take out students in one major only. Only look at students in that particular major. In that case, the major is no longer a variable. We're going to compare the performance or the sco average scores of male and female students within that major. So we're going to do this for the first major only, second major only, third and fourth major only. So we're going to test six hypotheses in this Here is the SPSS syntax that can provide you with the test of simple effects as part of the TUI ANOVA analysis. Uh, the first three lines, you just need to say unique ANOVA. Then the score is the name of your dependent variable by, then followed by the names of your two independent variables, gender and major. Then I always ask for the descriptive information and the homogeneity variance test. Uh, in the time that you want to look at the interaction, it's always nice to have interaction plot. Here is how you ask the plot in SPSS. Okay. I put the variable with fewer values as a second variable, so that gave me fewer lines. And those are the two lines that gave you the output for test of simple effect. Gender by major, you're going to compare majors. This means I'm going to t look uh, at every gender group separately and make the comparison across majors. And the second line is I'm going to compare between gender groups within each major. Okay. All you need to do is run this and uh, run this part of the syntax. Okay. 
And the first part is the output of the regular TUI ANOVA test. Okay. And start from here. When you see the part estimate marginal means, that's the part for the test of simple effects. Okay. The first table, estimate, just gave you the descriptive information of the eight cells. Okay, you have the mean for male only and uh, vacation education, so on and so forth. And we actually going to skip the second table, the pairwise comparison, and go to the last table first. We want to look at the univariate test because this test tells us whether we're going to reject or fail to reject the hypothesis. Look at this first part that's for male students only. And remember, our hypothesis is to find out whether students in the four majors, male students in the four majors, have significant difference in their average scores. And with a p value that's greater than 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is not any significant differences among the average score of male students in the four majors. Good. That's the end of the story for this part. Now look at female students. We're going to test whether female students in the four majors have significant average scores. A significant difference in their average scores. In this particular test, we have a p-value that's lower than 0.01 and lower than alpha equals 0.05. So we're going to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the average scores of female students in the four majors are significantly different. And that means because we have four majors, we know they are significantly different, but we do not know which major is different from which major. So we have to do post hoc tests. This is the time we go back to the second table, look at the pairwise comparisons. And since we do not have significant difference for male students, we're going to skip that part and go to the part that's for female students. And you can see that the significant difference is found between female students in vocational education versus physical education because the p is lower than 0.05. Also between vocational education and English because p is very low. And also between vocational education and mathematics. Okay. Um, Another one that has significant difference is between physical education and English with, I'm sorry, physical education uh, versus mathematics. That is 0 0.016. And the two pairs that do not have significant difference is between physical education and English, and also between English and mathematics. Okay, that is the post hoc test for female student in the four majors. Now we are done with this part. Move on to the second section. Again, the first table gives you the descriptive information. And we're going to go to the last table first, the table that called univariate test because this table offers the answer to the four hypotheses we have. First one, the hypothesis is whether there's a significant difference between male and female students within the major of vocational education. Since the p-value is lower than 0.05, the conclusion is that we're going to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is a significant difference in the average scores of male and female students in vocational education. And the same conclusion is found for female male students 
uh, in mathematics, there's a significant gender difference in this major as well. However, for the other two majors, physical education and English, there is no gender difference within the majors because the p-value are higher than 0.05. All right, so do we need to do more or post hoc tests for the two majors that we found significant gender difference? The answer is no, because we only have two groups within each major, male versus female. They are different, then they are different, so we don't have to do anything more. All right, and at this point, we can look at the average group in this interaction plot. You can see that the green line is for female students, the blue line is for male students. And there is a big gap between male and female students in their uh, in this vocational education major, and the dots indicate their average scores. For the two genders, their mean scores are very close in physical education and identical in English, but once you get to the math major, female students have significantly higher scores than those uh, male students. So this indicates a significant interaction effect also because the line crossed. So we call this disordinal interaction effect. When the line do not cross, but they do not parallel to each other, that is a sign of ordinal interaction effect. When you do not have significant interaction effect, uh, effects, Basically, the two lines you see here should be somewhat uh, very close to parallel. So this is how we do the test of simple effect in SPSS when you have a significant interaction effect. And remember, the idea is to look at how the effect of one independent variable vary across the levels of another independent variable. All right, thanks.